Sheriff, unbelievable. The Moldovan dream continues. This is ridiculous. The first win, okay, you get it at home. Pretty impressive. Then you go to the Bernabeu and you beat Real Madrid 2-1. Of course, I'm happy. Peruvian center back, Gustavo Dolanto going absolutely insane at the end. But this is a tremendous, tremendous story. I thought a draw would be amazing, Jimmy, but a victory against the most successful club in Champions League history, against Karim Benzema, Hazard, Vinicius Jr. Is this the biggest shock result in group stage history? Uh, honestly, that's the question I have for you. Uh, for all you American sports fans that are listening, I liken it to the number 16 seed in March Madness beating the number one seed. It just shouldn't happen ever at any point, especially with Real Madrid at the Bernabeu. Like, it just... How? How is that even possible? And even when the game was going on, let's say minute 24, okay? This is a minute before Sheriff scored their first goal. Sheriff have no shots on goal, no shots at all. They have like 17% possession. And somehow they play up, back, and through, get the ball wide, whip a good ball into the box, and the guy gets some back post cheddar and heads it in. You're like, okay, all right. Well, Sheriff's here to play. Now, ultimately, I think that, there were some wasted opportunities from Real Madrid. When the game was 1-1, that's when they need to put it away. Sure, you give you, you give away a good goal. Okay, you, you tip your hat and say, well played, Sheriff. And then you got to kick it into that gear, that world-class gear that you have and that Sheriff doesn't have. But what, what Sheriff does probably have in spades, and we saw it today, and we, we can maybe liken it to Brentford versus Liverpool, those types of teams are going to fight and scrap and compete for every single thing. And if you're not up to match that and then at some point have to surpass it if you do go down a goal, it's going to be a long, long game for you. So fair play to share. Plus 2,800 for them to win that game straight up. Oh, from my God. Hearing, Somebody made hearing, some cheddar. Somebody made some cheddar. Listen, now. from what wow. I'm hearing, some some of our friends over uh, in in the in HQ uh, actually just as a joke bet on Sheriff <laughs> to win and act, hit the 2,800. Seriously. Oh no I mean, joke. No that joke. That's got to be the biggest shock in group stage history. And can you imagine how wounded Real Madrid are going to feel? I, I can't wait to see what they have. You know the front pages of Ass and Marker and and all the Madrid press because Chiringuito Ali. What's Chiringuito going to do? This is the Bernabeu, and it's supposed to be intimidating. And like you know, to have that kind of heart and that spirit to actually believe that you can go and do that. I mean, those players are going to be pinching themselves. I mean, I'd love to see the combined. Um, you know, the, the kind of the salaries, like in comparison, right. and, you know, just yeah. everything that you. It's just, it's just incredible, and they've got to be so proud of themselves. But Real Madrid will feel so wounded after that one. In, unbelievable! Uh, they sit above thirteen-time champs Real Madrid, heading into match day two. Two wins from two. It's just incredible. I mean, listen. Um, there's nothing much more to say about this outside of the fact that it's, to be honest, I, I, I don't know, Jimmy. It's well, no, I was just going to step in and say that Inter Milan, I think, are the biggest losers here because they had an opportunity because they're in the same group yeah. to go to go to Ukraine, go to Shakhtar Donetsk and get a result. A Shakhtar team that lost to Sheriff 2-0. So you're already thinking, how good is this Shakhtar team really now that we see Sheriff beat Madrid? Maybe you're thinking otherwise. But for them to get another 0-0 draw feels like a missed opportunity, especially because they lost at home in the dying embers of their game against Madrid in match day one. So I worry about Inter Milan now, but they did this last year. And Real Madrid did it last year too, where they, they dropped a, that home game 3-2 to Shakhtar Donetsk. They, they didn't get really any points out of the first two games. I don't remember. They didn't go on to win the group. So, so I'm not too worried about Madrid. They'll find their way. But Inter Milan makes me nervous, especially with Sheriff having six. They're going to have to play each other in the next back-to-back uh, -back match days. So I guess that will determine ultimately if Sheriff can make it through to the knockout rounds, which would just be wow, next level, that would by be the way. Mind blowing. Next level. I think the only thing that really makes me sad, I guess, is because, I mean, having worked in La Liga, for those people that don't know, I worked, I went and set up Real Madrid TV back in 2005. What a blast I had. The, you know, Galactico era, when obviously Zidane was playing as well. We had Roberto Carlos and Beckham and Owen and all those players. Incredible. Um, and it was just incredible. And, and by the way, any kind of defeat that, that we would experience at the time, you know, it would be felt around the city for for days after so i know exactly what they're going through right now but what i was going to say is i just think that like there's a real pr problem right now both for real madrid and for barcelona who are you know when the champions league anthem when i hear that anthem those are two of the clubs i immediately think about you know mm. and it's just obviously because Real Madrid 13 times winners you know we kind of like we see that trophy as ours to be honest with you so um it'll just be really interesting to see how things turn around you know over the course of the match days in the group stage <laughs> 